Hi, welcome to Sid's Tips. Hope you're having a pain-free day. I'm sitting on the floor today because I wanna share with you about what I have done as far as stretches and also sharing with you about some products to help me get through the pain of sciatica. And if you are dealing with it and you're trying to figure out what are some of the things that you can do, then hopefully this will be of help to you. I used to get sciatica and used to get on my left side but this time I got it on my right side and it took me almost three weeks of the day for it to fully subside. Now a week later I went hiking and feeling good and getting back into my routine again. So if you do find this video of help by the way, greatly appreciate a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber and finding a value, click that subscribe button and of course the bell icon so you can be notified of new videos just like this one. And if you know anybody that's dealing with sciatica as well, feel free to share this video. So. First thing I would say that's really important if you start getting symptoms of sciatica is if you are active, whether it's playing tennis, you're working out, even swimming, you're you know doing hardcore cardio, you need to put that on hold until your back is fully healed because otherwise it's going to make it worse and more uncomfortable. And so I would highly suggest to do and cut that out. If What I would then start getting into your head is to do more walking because you really need to do the baby steps. So first thing, what you'd wanna do, uh, and what I did was I let my body just try to ca calm itself down. I took some Aleve uh, and uh, I also started using hot and cold therapy. Now I'm gonna share with you some products that I've used and I'll show you what I've used for the heat. And so I switched off and I found heat for me working really well. In fact, moist heat and then other products. But what I wanna first share with you, a couple of stretches that I started doing and I waited a little bit. So uh, I would wait you know, a few days just to let, the, let that pain just try and calm down a little bit. And then you could start slowly getting into some stretches. So first thing, and you might do some other stretches as well, but these two, in particular because I was trying to really work that hip area and stretch it. So what you want to do is get on your back and in my case with my right hip cross my right leg over my left and then just pulling back and when I'm pulling back like this I can really feel that stretch in that area and hold it you know for 20 seconds 30 seconds if it becomes painful then maybe not go back as hard, but you'll find if you could stretch that out a little bit, which I did, I found that was helping to contribute to alleviate the pain. The other one that I did is I, um, I, I made sure to cross over my legs and just lean forward like this. And then this was another way, and you could, depending on your side and you'll figure it out here, is how I was working it with my right side. And I felt like this stretch as well was working it. And I could really feel that actually right now, right in that, in that area there. So these are two stretches in particular that I was using to try and stretch that out. And of course, there's other things that you can do as well, but those uh, two particular stretches helped me. So what I wanted to do now is I'm gonna get set up set up products that I've used to help me uh, get the day going. Uh, actually, while I'm on the ground here, let me just share with you one other product that I've used. And this is a roller product. The company changed its name. I bought this several years ago. I've done a review. And this kind of helps massage the back. And you just put this on your back like this. So it's not really necessarily working that sciatic area, but this just helps massage your back. And you can kind of get down towards that area, but just to, to try to give myself um, that, that massage on my back. So this feels really good. It might hurt, hurt at first, but I love it and it rolls back and forth. You can also use this uh, with the wall. And so you're going up and down. So this is another product which I'll link. Okay, let's talk about what I use during the three weeks. Again, these are products that I have used to help me get through these challenging times. And I'll put a link to the products as well as to my reviews. So first of all, I am wearing compression tights 
And I find compression tights or even compression shorts really help because they wrap around the body and it feels good. And it's, you know, it's, it's a wrap almost that tightens the muscles and, and also for the hip and it might help as well. So I do recommend compression tights or compression shorts. Then I would definitely recommend having a back brace. And this back brace, I did a review on this, I guess a year or two ago, and it's by Mercase. And I really love this back brace. Uh, it has a mesh backing. It's got these rods that you can uh, pull out. And then it's got a double front wrap. So you got your main, you got your main wrap around your body. Plus then you have these two straps and then you can tighten even more. And this one is great. I highly recommend it. Uh, again, I'll put a link to the review and to the product. Next thing is when it comes to sleeping. Everybody's going to have different challenges when it comes to sleeping, whether you sleep on your side, your back, or your stomach. So find what works best for you. Uh, when I had sciatic years ago and I did a video on that, oh my goodness, that one night I had, it was so challenging and I found something that worked and that seemed to help a lot of people. But this time I felt like it worked well with sleeping on my side. And one of the things that I do uh, with sleeping on my side is, is using a wedge pillow. I find keeping my hips uh, at the, the right distance with uh, between uh, my legs so they're not touching, so that helps. So I'd recommend a wedge pillow. Uh, this one, uh, while I like it, the cover's kind of uh, gotten uh, a little nasty, but it's uh, worked well and maybe I'll eventually get a new one. This is a contour wedge pillow. So I'd recommend getting a contour wedge pillow. If you find that you are going to need to sleep on your back, then a wedge pillow like this would be good because then uh, this could go under your buttocks area here and then you could put your legs on top. So a wedge pillow can go a long way, uh, might help alleviate some pain. Something about elevating your legs does help with uh, relieving the pain. Next up, uh, which uh, I highly recommend, and I use this almost every night, and this is an acupressure mat. And these are spikes that are all along the mat, and it is great. I, I lay my skin right on this, and it actually relaxes you, and it brings blood to the surface, and that helps. And I make sure even to my you know, lower buttocks area, so part of it is on there too. Uh, it does take some getting used to, so you can always wear a shirt, but I would recommend an acupressure mat. Uh, it will uh, definitely help to your back. Uh, this one happens to have a set. Now, I will say that there are companies out there that you can find some cheap ones that have some, this foam material. You wanna get one that's gonna be a little better. This is by Ajna, and this one has a better, materials on the inside and the quality is good. And so I would invest in a better acupressure mat. Next up is a TENS unit. There are a lot of TENS units and what basically TENS does is give you a temporary relief. And so it's a, like a vibrating sensation. You've probably seen them, the devices that have wires and you attach the, the the pad to that area if you might go to physical therapy and that's what a TENS unit does and that works well. What I like is ones without any wires and this one here is by Massage Therapy Concepts. They've got their V-Pod system. So they have this disc and then you've got uh, this you put on your skin and then you use your phone with the product and now you can use it wirelessly and it feels great so you don't have to have to worry about wires so this is a great system i'll put a review so you can see it in action and with the app it's a great way to go uh, what i like about this one too is that you can have this one adjust uh on an angle with uh with that area that you really want to work on your sciatica so this works well if you uh, want to go with another wireless system too this one is also a great one as well this is the uh the wi touch pro and this is one that i've been using this is the hollywog and this one is a very nice system as well it's a it's wireless it works with an app and let me pull it out it's got gel pads and this is the device. With this one, it doesn't, it's not rechargeable batteries, so you'll have to use uh, AAA batteries, but this 
sticks to the back of your back and this is a great option to go with as well. It's a little bit more difficult to use with getting to that sciatica area. So it, the other option I thought worked a little bit better, but if you also wanted to, you know, massage your back, you can kind of put it towards that area, but you could try that. So that is another great option as well uh, for relieving that pain. And you, you could put it on there for 20 minutes at a time and then use it again later. And it will definitely alleviate those aches and pains. Next up, we're gonna talk about is red light therapy. So I've talked a lot about red light therapy. This one is by uh, a company called Flexbeam, and uh, that is the product. And so I've been using this product now for a while. And what I like about this red light therapy is that uh, it is wearable, so it's not compared to a panel. There's a lot of panels and you're stuck in a chair here. You can lay on your bed have this wrapped uh, on your back area so you can lay on your stomach and then have this on your back or you just put this on your back while you're walking around or if you might be cooking or at your desk, you could uh, put this on your back and, and really work that area as well. I did uh, just a quick video and a lot of health benefits to this. Uh, again, it uses what they call near infrared and then the red light therapy helps with uh, healing the process quicker. Uh, to alleviate the pain. And also these have fans uh, on each red light therapy, on each red light, and that just, it's because it can get very hot, so it keeps the unit cooler. And that in itself tells you that this unit is working uh, and, and really working well. A lot of the other ones uh, that are out there may not have the fans, so it may not be outputting the kind of red light therapy that will help you with recovering. So next product is cupping. Cupping has been around for a long time and a lot of uh, people have used them. Now they make these electronic devices where you can use it with an app. Um, this one is by Aked Away Cupper. And so what's cool is you turn it on and you'll hear that noise. And so once you put on your skin, it actually, it's really cool how it works and also has red light therapy as well. And what it does, you'll see it like sucks your skin up into the cup and you'll see how dark that, that color of your skin could be where it's showing you that it really needed to be treated. And that also uses red light therapy, but it brings the blood to the, uh, to the surface and it helps with recovery. A lot of athletes, a lot of people use that as a form of recovery uh, by using red light therapy and you could read about it. It's a great way to go. And what I like about these, they're electronic and you can adjust how intense you want it to be and how long you want it to be. And it's, uh, it's a great way to go. So that is that. And the last product I wanna share with you, this is the World Recovery. Now this is generally used for the legs and it feels great for giving yourself a massage on your legs and it, it's quite an intense uh, massage although they have a unit you can adjust but what i like about this is that you can use it to massage that area that sciatica area so i've discovered that as well so they have this other foam roller which is softer the ones that come with are a little bit firm so you can always get the change out the inserts so you can have one firm and one um, a little bit softer and this is the roll recovery and they have two different models they have the r8 and the r8 plus the r8 plus has a knob on there and that helps you adjust the intensity so those are the different products that i've used and everybody will have different results with the products but definitely i highly recommend an acupressure mat i highly recommend a tens unit um, and, uh, and, and, and uh, also cupping. Uh, actually, one last thing, I forgot about this product, the Calf Pro. What I found as well with the Calf Pro, this works by the door and this uh, helps stretch your hamstrings. And so I found that helped as well um, with uh, relieving some of the pain. And so th unlike many of these other types of products that you see where your foot's going in there to stretch your calf. This one really holds it in place well. This was made by a uh, chiropractor who invented this product and it's a really, really great product and it goes 
uh, right into the, the doorway. So if you've got the wood there, this will go around it. And you can really stretch. And this will is another product to use. So do check those out. Again, most importantly though, go slow. Don't push yourself too much when you're first getting through the recovery process because you'll just prolong it and you'll be miserable and you wanna get this over and done with as quickly as possible. And they would also expect it's gonna take you a good few weeks for the pain to subside. So you're gonna to have to adjust your lifestyle some. So there you go. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope this video has helped to you. Have a great day, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay pain free. Take care.